case against convicted killer Nomia Rosemary Ndlovu who is accused of conspiracy to commit murder following her alleged attempts to murder the investigating officer who exposed her masterminding the brutal killing of six of her family members. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. This is the Crime Time Tales and today we are going to look into the murder case of the most notorious woman in South Africa none other than Nomia Rosemary Ndlovu. Nomia Rosemary Ndilovu was born in 1978 in South Africa, Bushbukrij and Mpumalanga in one of the surrounding villages in around the year of 1978. She attended primary and high in Mpumalanga until she went to Johannesburg in search of greener pastures, where she later joined the South African Police Service. Nomia Rosemary Ndilovu is a South African convicted serial killer and a former policewoman who was convicted in the deaths of six people her live-in partner and five of her relatives between 2012 and 2018. Her motive was to live off of their life and funeral insurance policies. Having collected as much as 1.4 million South African rands, which is roughly around $93,000 at the time of her arrest. <laughs> In the video, Ndlovu is heard telling the two men and an undercover officer that all six of her own family members should be wiped out in the fire. In 2021, Ndlovu was sentenced to six concurrent life terms for the murders and a total of 30 years. 10 years for four fraud counts, 10 years for each of the seven incitement to commit murder charges, and 10 years for the attempted murder of her mother, Maria Mushawana. Ndilovu entered the South African Police Service and was posted at the Tembisa Police Station, eventually being promoted to the rank of sergeant. While Ndilovu was regarded as a respected member of the police force, colleagues also recalled her as a gambling addict who sometimes bunked out of work to avoid loan sharks. Ndilovu's first victim was her cousin. Madala witness Hamu, who in March 2012 was found beaten to death in Oliphant's Fontaine. For her death, Ndilovu would receive over 131,000 South African rands in insurance. On their way to Bushback Ridge, where her sister Joyce lived with her children, they stopped to buy petrol, which would be used to set them alight. Seemingly unaware that she was being recorded, Ndilovu told the men she would show them where her sister lives, then hike back. While staying at Ndi Lavu's house in June 2013, her sister Audrey was found murdered by a combination of poisoning and strangulation. Ndilovu received 717,421.17 South African rands in insurance from her death. The same month, Ndilovu's niece Zianel Matha was found murdered by beating, a death which Ndilovu would receive around 119,840 South African rands for. In October 2015, Morris Mabasa, her boyfriend and father of her child, was found murdered and dumped in Oliphant's Fontaine with over 76 stab wounds. From Mabasa's death, Ndilovu would receive more than 131,000 South African rands and death policies which she had made in his name. In April 2017, her nephew Mayani Mashaba was found murdered in Oliphant's Fontaine, after having met up with Ndilovu the day before his murder. Ndilovu's final victim was brilliant Mashigo. Ndilovu's nephew and Audrey's son, who was last seen alive in Ndilovu's company on the 22nd of January 2018 in Bushbukridge and found two days later on January 24th in Bushbukridge. In court, Ndilovu admitted to having taken out funeral policies for Mashigo. Ndilovu's murder spree ended when she was arrested after being recorded trying to enlist an undercover police officer and another man, both posing as hitmen, to burn her sister Joyce and her five children to death inside her house. This is one of the most brutal women on the face of the earth. I mean, she does not care who the victim is, whether it's her family member or not. This is proof now that the court has found you guilty of all the charges of murder, and conspiracy, and fraud. How 
Anyways, guys drop your comments and tell me what you think of this case. And, don't forget to like and subscribe. Look after yourselves and one another.